everyone and welcome! Did you ever want to get into the lore of League of Legends but you had no idea where to start or how to find your favorite champion stories? If so, this video is for you! Hi, my name is Nekrit, also known as the Lore Guy, and if you like good stories, well I hope you don't mind my accent because you may hear it a lot. Before we do anything, I want to confirm that all the stories you find on my channel are canon. This means they are true to the story. If by any chance Riot changed a bigger piece of lore, the video covering that bit will be marked with an X. These videos are no longer canon. So, you wanna get started but you don't know where? The main thing you don't want to do is that you don't want to read the stories directly from the client. Not only are the stories there really short and incomplete, but often they are old because it is hard to coordinate the narration team and the client team. A good example is Ari. The story you can find inside the client is very old and is not canon anymore. So instead, you want to go to your browser and type in universe.leagueoflegends.com. Alternatively, if you go to leagueoflegends.com, you can see the link called universe at the top. This will bring you to what we simply call the universe. Everything you find while browsing this site is canon and is real. This is where I get all my stories from. I highly do not recommend the League of Legends wiki page or any other site for your research. The story of League of Legends is very much alive and is changing a lot. While the League wiki page is doing a good job keeping all the new stories up to date, they do not remove the old bits that are not real anymore. This really confuses people. For example, if I go and search for Piltover, you can see that the main page was updated, but when you scroll down you can see the history of the city. Pretty much everything here is not canon anymore. The Regal's Lantern story is currently considered old, and the Festival of Flight was removed with the Journal of Justice almost 4 years ago. Not only that, but the story about the main accident that split the city into Piltover and Zone is missing, and I believe this story was part of Jenna's lore. Also, most people still think the summoners exist, so let me confirm this for you. The summoners were removed from the story many years ago, they are not canon anymore. So I highly recommend sticking only to the universe page. So you got here but you don't know what to look for. At the top you can either look for the story of a specific champion, or you can go the better way and look at entire region. It is always better to look at the whole place where your favorite champion is from before you read his story. Different regions have different ways of introducing you to the world. Some regions don't have a lot of lore yet, so they only have a short introduction there. For example, Ionia or The Void. Other regions have entire massive stories aimed at introducing you into the mood of this place. For example, Shurima and the Bloodline story, Bilgewater and the Burning Tides, or even short ones like Targon and the Mountain. Once you get to your favorite champion, you can expect two things. Either the champion was not part of a bigger event yet, and you can expect only a short bio, for example, believe it or not, Aatrox, or the champion was updated and was part of a bigger story and will not only have a short bio on its page, but also there will be a short story. It is important to always read the bio before the short story. The bio will tell you the origins and the history of that champion, while the short story will usually tell you about recent events. Sometimes big lore events and pieces of history are parts of specific champion stories. So now I will tell you exactly what stories to look for if you want to learn about specific pieces of the world. If you want to learn about the mythos of Runeterra, which is the world where League of Legends takes place, I recommend reading the bio of Aurelian Sol. If you want to learn about the Masia, go to Regions, click on the Masia, stand with the Masia, and look for Galio's bio. This story will tell you how the Masia was founded and why it is focused on its military so much. To learn about Zone, you actually want to look for Jenna's bio. From her story you will learn about the creation of Piltover and about the events that split the city. A big piece of Piltover's history is hidden in Camille's story. Her bio will tell you about the connections between Piltover and Shurima. 
The origins of the Shadow Isles are hidden in Kalista's bio. But I do recommend reading Hecarim's story as well, as it is the same story but from a different view. If you want to learn about the aspects of Targon, the mountain story will introduce you to their background. Pantheon's bio will show you how it all works in the real world. But keep in mind that all the aspects of Targon have a different story, and only if you read all of them will all the details click together. For Shurima, I highly recommend looking into Zerath first and then Azir. Again, two views on the same story, but the order you read these really matters in this case. For Bilgewater, the only way to learn about this place is the Burning Tide story, which to this day remains to be one of the greatest stories. Now, while you can read the story here, I will give you a link in the description which will take you to the original Burning Tide site. The reason why that one is better is because there is awesome music playing at the background to set the mood while you are reading the story. Ionia as a region doesn't have a lot of story yet, but it is split into two main events. You have the Vastaya, which currently only has a link on the front page, and you have the Ninja story, which is mostly uncovered in Jin's bio. If you want to learn about Freljord, go to its main page and look for the video titled Enter the Freljord. It will tell you exactly what the three tribes are all about. Noxus doesn't have a lot of story yet, but its entire history is actually hidden in Mordekaiser's bio. And the last two places we have is the Void and Bandel City. Sadly, neither of these places were used for an event yet, but that will probably change soon. While we don't know anything about Bandle City, the Void is part of Aurelian's bio as well. And that is pretty much all the info you need to get started. As I said before, do not look outside the universe. You can find everything here including illustrations for all the places. I should also mention that a map of Runeterra currently doesn't exist. Riot wants to describe the places through the stories themselves with occasional graphical hints here and there. The only real map we have is the Medarda map from Piltover's story. Outside of that, it is all in our imagination. Hopefully for those of you lost in the lore it got a little bit easier. If you still have questions, the best bet would be to join our Discord, but Twitter and Facebook are also possibilities. Also, I would like to mention that based on your demand, I now have Patreon. I already feel bad for begging for money, but some of you wanted me to make one, so there you go. I would like to thank you for being here and for supporting me, you know I really appreciate it. And as always, thank you Gum again.